We met on the set of a movie production where I played the role of a mother to him. And um, he got enamored, so enamored with my acting prowess that he then continued to seek my mentorship and coaching. That he would want someone to guide him and to always correct him. And surely I took on the responsibility. Away, my country people, one that shall never end. Our popular Lollywood actress, Apostle Eukarya Anobi, don't finally come out. Come stalk our own side of the story. My people, now no say this, our actress, Mata, don't they work out here and there for internet. According to the rumors, where we all come, they hear for internet. Say this, Mr. Lucky, one that they see for years. So, and this, our actress, and then some people. People can't let us know. Say this, our actress now 56 years old, like this woman. They and this guy also now 26 years old, nine in them. And now there's so kind people can let us know. Say this woman now she go to marry this uh, this man and this man also this young guy one they see for here. So in go to marry this uh, our actress you carry him. Now so many people can they talk say this woman too old for this guy and this guy also too young for this woman <laughs> my people now there the rumors come they fly here and there my people the matter really drag bars bulls. a lot of people say may this woman leave this young guy alone may she go for a type now there's so kind people come they talk say age na number say if this woman really love this guy and if this guy really love this woman may two of them may they marry themselves and may they continue their life so many people don't agree oh my people but right now so this woman don't finally come out come talk her own side of the story how she say no this guy where people they where people they cast the rumors they go say now nah, he husband to be or now nah, husband to be all those kind of thing anyway my people before now go watch this video make i offer to waste a lot for all of now first hello my correct correct people welcome back again to my channel good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time and locations if today is your first time you are coming across lizzie g's tv channel you are highly welcome thank you all so very much for your love and support for my new subscriber thank you all for my other returning subscribers thank you all and may god bless you so my correct correct people make i just drop this video for now make una watch this video make una end on a positive comment below the comment section wait till i think about this whole video praise the lord my names are Apostle Dr. Eukarya Amenobi. I want to respond to all the stories that have been flying on the various social media platforms about Mr. Lucky Opera and myself. Wonders shall never end and from all indications will never end. I want to say to all my family loved ones, friends, fans, ministerial associates, the body of Christ, followers all around the world, that these are fabrications and misleading lies from the pit of hell. It is even laughable, more so, how some people in their distorted mind, unfortunately, have given out an age that is not mine. Some say I'm 56, some say I'm 57. Maybe some people will also come out and say I'm 120. Well, I will surely get to those ages and even surpass them and live in good health and prosperity. It's so laughable that some people sit down and cook up and publish unverified stories. True, Mr. Lucky Opera is known to me. He is, I state categorically, my movie industry mentee. We met on the set of a movie production where I played the role of a mother to him. And um, he got enamored, so enamored with my acting prowess that he then continued to seek my mentorship and coaching. That 
he would want someone to guide him and to always correct him. And surely, I took on the responsibility. And I have been doing that. You all know what happens when you're in a movie production. And even for those outside, what people do with their phones these days. And a lot of people always make videos, take pictures of themselves, friends, family, loved ones, important people, famous people, all the time with their devices. And um, they all post them. I myself is no exception on their social media platforms as content. And in the course of while we were working, Lucky took pictures with me, made some short videos of me, which obviously he posted on his social media platforms, and which is what the enemies, enemies of themselves, not me, gathered together and put up as evidences to substantiate their false stories. You all can bear witness that since the inception of social media, everyone is videoing whatever and anything that they see to post on their platforms as content. Are we now saying that people should not allow persons who admire them, admire their works, admire their persons, not to video them, not to take pictures with them, you begin to wonder at the mindset of these mischief makers. You begin to wonder, are they blind to the new system? Are they blind to the new normal of creating content on social media? That being said, I want to state categorically, without fear or favor, that I am not in any romantic relationship with Mr. Lucky Opera, neither is there any wedding undergoing planning, and it is an insult upon the unction of God on my life by these mischief makers, these demons from the pit of hell, these people that lack joy, to say that I am pregnant before marriage as an apostle, everyone who listen to me and who know about my ministry know that I vehemently preach against such. And I always go on to ensure that I add my quota in the lives of anyone that comes in contact with me. I encourage them to live right. And that is the bane of my ministry. And unfortunately, no one can change that. So everything you have read or heard about Lucky and I are all fabrications from the pit of hell, fabrications and misleading lies from enemies of the gospel of truth, the gospel of Jesus, out to tarnish my good public image. Unfortunately for them, what they had planned for evil has turned out for good. Yes, what they plotted for evil, what they planned for evil had become a blessing in disguise. And um, have made me even more popular than I have been both globally and of course locally and uh, a bigger threat to the kingdom of the devil and listen this short period I've received a thousand calls from so many people all around the world international bodies foreign friends people living abroad you know fathers of faith mothers of faith loving colleagues who have called to check on me friends and strangers who have called me stop by ask who stopped even see me on the road in traffic asking my goodness what's going on are you okay why didn't you invite us for the wedding so you see 
the devil will always be a loser and so are his cohorts so to you cohorts of the devil perpetrators of evil i thank you so very much you have helped to announce me even much more locally and globally and the name of apostle dr yukere angonobi will continually ring a bell even to the death and will cause the kingdom of darkness to continually shake and quake with fear when they hear my name i thank you so very much to the proprietors of this whole saga that started posting that i sent mr lucky opera a love message and gave him money on his birthday a story that you cannot defend in the love court i have this to say to you all i need you mischief makers haters sons and daughters of the devil to understand one thing as long as you are not the one that put the unction upon me neither are you the one that called me into ministry you cannot destroy the unction of god upon my life neither can you destroy the ministry in my hands hating my glory hating my being chosen by god is like someone drinking poison and expecting the person that they hate to die because what you hate cannot help you and your hating only hinders you mischief makers will have god almighty to contend with because the law of sowing and reaping will not change as long as the earth remains one thing is sure karma is no respecter of any one with that i say thanks to all of you my friends family loved one fathers of faith everyone who have shown me an overwhelming outpouring of love all this why i say thank you god will fight for you remain blessed and stay in the wheel of God.